What's going on guys? This is JT here and welcome back to episode 7 of the new pay to play account. Now, we got a lot to talk about today. Not only a lot to show you guys, but I got I went ahead and bought some bazaars. But one thing I wanted to start off by talking about is this new Lavanica pack that is $100 for this new dragon. Now, I'm just letting you guys know this is going to change the way Castle Clash is being played out because now a lot of people are about to have Levanica. It's no longer 200 bucks, it's now 100 bucks, and I'm telling you guys, there was a lot of people that bought Levanica today, like an insane amount. I got probably over 50 messages from just people saying, hey JT, I bought Levanica today, want to do a video? And I'm like, dude, I'm like, this is ridiculous. I couldn't believe how many people there were. If you're one of those people, you know who you are. Now, I was thinking about, I was like, man, should I buy Levanica on my brand new pay to play account? Is this going to be a one-time thing that Levanica is going to be a hundred bucks now? Is it not going to be a hundred bucks later? And the more I thought about it, I was like, you know, it's just too early for me to step in the game and just buy Levanica right away because I kind of want to challenge challenge with certain things. Yes, I am pay to play, but as soon as you get Levanica, there's literally no challenge in pretty much all the easy HBM levels. There's no challenge in any of the dungeons probably until you get to Insane 7. So I'm like, yeah, let's just hold off a little bit. If there are Levanica bags like from the $20 pack or whatever, I'm not against buying them and working my way towards the hero, but I don't want to just flat out just be like, oh, whoops, accounts maxed out, boys. Let's go. You know what I mean? I don't really want to do that. So let's get in to what all we got going on today. And I wanted to show you guys which packs I bought. So I did decide to buy this $9 pack down here at the bottom, which does come with three prime hero cards. It comes with Mahatma, which is a hero I don't have. That's going to be a very big hero, not only for dungeons, but also for Lost Battlefield. I'm excited to get that. We get a lot of honor badges, some extra books. We also get a ton of mastery essences, which are definitely going to help out. We get 60,000 fame, which is just a ridiculous amount. We also get a ton of shards, right, as well. So we get all kinds of rewards. Now, I didn't only buy this $9 pack. There was another $9 pack that I bought. I know you guys know it's the little merchant, actually, in this corner, that sh or wherever, yeah, over up in there, that shows up that's like uh, the spec. I don't know why they don't just add it to the bazaar. It's like you play the game, they like hit you with the random pop-up, which, by the way, if I ever buy that pop-up on my free-to-play account, I'm going to be extremely mad about it because IGG just like forces it in your face. It's just like, well, bam, buy this. It's like, no, I don't want to buy that. If I wanted to buy that, put that in the bazaar. But then, of course, it popped up today. And what did I do? I bought it. <laughs> of course. So now I bought it. And the reason why I bought it was because look at the rewards it came with. It came with a thousand blue crystal, which is like a hundred thousand. I'm basically going to be able to inscribe all my heroes now to a hundred. So that's why I went ahead and bought that pack. Plus also... If I don't need the red crystals, I can, well, I'm going to need the red crystals eventually to uh, combine crests. So, yeah, the red crystals are going to come into handy as well. And then it also came with 128 of those Mastery Essence 3s, which is an insane amount. So, I'm like, okay. And then not only that, a level 8 Heaven's Wrath um, insignia, which I don't know how good that's going to be, but not bad for this account, no doubt. So, this is all the rewards that we got. We do have events to do as well. Now, I wanted to quickly show you guys exactly what I updated on this account last night because I did an insane amount of raiding. You will notice we already have a level 15 gold vault. We got a level 14 and another level 14. Now, that is only three out of the four vaults that you need level 16, but we're on our way. And one more thing you'll notice is up at the top, we got a total gold storage of... 1.2 million, which is not bad at all. So we got that. We also got level 15 on the mana vault. We also got 14 and 13. So the vaults are all coming on very strong. Hold on. Let me just collect these eggs. They're in my way. The same with rolling the feet hero roll. I'm like trying to concentrate, but I keep looking at the same thing over and over. And I'm like, let me just get rid of this junk. It's like, goodness gracious. All right, let's go ahead and start on the eggs again and let's go ahead and snatch up the goods or snatch up a crystal ooze rather and use the free talent roll because we like i said we need a lot of talents for a lot of heroes now one thing i am gonna do in this video since fame is just so easy to get now and it comes with like every single pack that you buy i'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and make sure i have enough fame so i got sixty-three thousand fame from that plus we also got i mean we got two hundred thousand fame so yeah i need talents this is one way to get talents. Not going to buy that many, but definitely going to buy 10 of these bad boys for 50,000 fame. Why not? 10 not really a lucky number for me. It always kills me on the roulette wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a different number. I'm going to buy 17 because that's my overall luckiest number. So I'm just going to go with that. So we got 17. Let me get rid of these two because I just looked at... Oh, talent refresh cards. All right, we need to try to land on that actually. 
And we got there. Oh, we got some friend requests. Okay, nice. Uh, my friends list is full now. Oh man, sorry guys. I am full of friends. All right, so let me go ahead and collect this. 24 hearts. Oh baby. First time we've been able to use hearts on this account, please. Oh, one more thing. Now that I'm talking about that, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the guild that I joined. It is Cotton Candy. We have 20 spots available. The required might, I think, is 150,000 might. So if you have 150,000 might or more, go ahead, hit this guild up, apply. You don't, or actually, you don't even need to hit them up. Just apply to the guild one time, no doubt. Look at this. We got home of one time. That's what I'm talking about right there in the guild notes, boys. All right, so what do we want to do next? Do we want to start out with events? Do we want to start out with opening rewards? I guess we'll start out with the events just to get them over with. Let's go ahead and get into the event section. What do we even have for events? I honestly did not even look. And if you guys are wondering, y'all are like, oh, JT, how? what do you mean that Lavanica's for $100? It's a one-for-one -one offer pack. So basically, they're just being nice, and they're like, uh, yeah, you guys want to buy this pack? You can buy it. It's 100 bucks. You get Lavanica. Huge pack. Probably the best pack that... IGG's come out with yet, but I still don't want to buy it on this account. But if I didn't have Levanica and I was pay-to-play, I would buy This is the best pack to buy if you're pay-to-play, right? So let's go ahead and get into the events. We got Lucky Prospector. Freaking hiccups. Goodness gracious. What do we got from Lucky Prospector today? Anything good? Oh my gosh. Oh, we only got one try. Imagine if we land on Levanica. Why don't we have two tries for spending 20 bucks? Do they not give you a, they don't give you event tries for spending on the pop-up reward stuff? I guess not. I don't know why I don't have two. Oh, today's Pirates Booty as well. Our rewards didn't change now, yeah. So only the good rewards are on Android right now. I highly suggest nobody even do Pirates Booty. Complete waste of time right now, no doubt about it. But I will go ahead and do this free one for that fame, extra fame. We'll take 500 fame for a free, no doubt. Now we do have, so we have two egg smashes, but only one of the prospector seems like it's glitched out a little bit so right now i think we have a total i'm gonna have to check back do i have, oh yeah yeah okay so i have a total of a hundred dollars spent wait what but twenty six thousand gems bought that's got to be more than a hundred dollars right i don't know man i don't even know i'm losing track of how much money i'm spending on this account i could have sworn i've only spent twenty dollars twenty dollars forty dollars and then twenty dollars but that does not make sense to add up to 26,000 gems i don't know i'm gonna have to look back at the videos and see how much money i've spent i'm pretty sure i spent a hundred dollars total on this account um, I don't believe I've spent any more. I haven't like snuck in like a purchase or anything like that. I'm being completely open with everything I do on this account. So no worries about that. I'll keep you guys updated and informed. Look at these guys talking. These guys are just showing heroes. Goodness, this whole freaking altar. What's up? Talking to JT one time. What'd you say to me? Yo, JT, recording? Yes, I'm recording, my good friend. And gave the guild a shout out as well. All right, so let's go ahead and let me collect this stuff. Actually, collect this. We got some talent runes, some fame, some extra stuff. And what do we want here? We want to see, oh, Pumpkin Duke is what we want to see. Come on, man. Hook me up with that Pumpkin Duke for dungeons. Come on. Ah, Thunder God, jump. All right, we got three Prime Hero card threes. We're definitely looking for Dove Keeper and Serena. That's all we want to see. Come on. Dove Serena, baby. Storm Eater, that's a good roll, but not what we need. A Spiritus, not what we, here's a thing, guaranteed. Oh, Sasquatch. All right, that's the same thing as a theme for me on this account, to be honest with you. All right, let's get rid of these chests. Starter packs. I guess we'll open the starter packs because sometimes that does come with gems. Now, the money that I spent yesterday, I had like 15,000 total gems. Like I said, I went ahead and upgraded everything. These mines are actually level 12 and 13. I also got my Relic Call to level 14, still upgrading. Unlock the new skill, Ares Frenzy. So that's coming on strong. Raids are getting to be a lot easier. I need to make sure that my training center, it's still going. We got 11 hours on that. Now I did upgrade the walls a little bit more. And what the main thing I did was that actually took me a long time was upgrading my main five heroes to eight star, right? You'll notice they're not all capped out at one six. Well, we can cap them out. Now they're capped at 160, but they were capped out at 140 and it cost a million gold for that upgrade for each one. And I mean, it takes forever to rate a million gold. So yeah, I did. I was right. Here's those XP provision packs. That's what I'm talking about. One of these packs popped up for nine bucks. I bought it and now I have these right here, which I'm going to go ahead and, oh wait, 500 of them. We'll go ahead and collect 498 of them. That way we're full on that and we'll be using that to inscribe all our heroes to 100 soon. That's why the reason why we bought that. We also got 105,000 shards, which is very nice. So we got some talent refresh packs to use. We also got, man, we got a lot. How many? That's worth 700,000 shards from a $10 pack. I can get 700,000 shards. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to tell you guys. Whenever y'all need shards on your account, 
Do not look for a pack that sells shards. That is not the way to get shards on your account. If you ever need shards on your account to double evolve heroes, look for the pack that gives the most essences. If not Mastery Essence 2s, Mastery Essence 3s are what you want to look for because you can just sell those and get a million shards within five seconds, right? So that's the way to go whenever you're looking for shards. Also, let's go ahead and collect this as well, and that should be good to go for now. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff, and let's get in the warehouse. What else do I have to collect in here? I got... No, not buy it items. Items, trucks. All right, what do we have? Anything else that we want to do besides the talent refreshes? No, okay, so we just go straight to talent refresh. From this, vital boon? Give me the vital boon on this account. Oh! <laughs> I think so, boys. I think so. We will take that along with go ahead and opening up our new hero, Mahatma. Now, we're going to wait and use that vital boon for Ashura. No doubt about that. I've seen Ashura in a lot of those $9 packs. So, we're just going to go ahead and wait on Ashura for that. And let's go ahead and start rolling some talents, boys. We want to see the goods. No doubt about it. Now, what hero should we start rolling talents on? Oh, go ahead and let's do it on the Mahatma. We're going to roll the big boy 17 of these things. Come on, baby. We need to see the good talents. 5 of 8 sharpen. Okay, we don't really care about that. What else? Condemnation. Come on now. Leave me up with the war gods. Put the goods on the board. Just in case I get all bad talents, we'll put revive on something. Just so, well, I guess we can put it on. Let's put it on rock. Mm, yeah, whatever. Rock no, revive. Okay, whatever. All right, come on. Change it up from the rock no. Give me war god, baby. Scorch. Okay, we'll give that to Ronan, I guess. Where's Ronan? Ronan's right here. We'll go ahead and give Ronan the level 5 Scorch. We need some good talents, man. I need to see Revitalize. I need to see War God. I need to see Bulwark. Thank you. All right, actually, I don't know if Revitalize is a good thing right now. I could go on Michael. I could also go on Athene, because, I mean, I can just change the talents later, right? I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Michael with the first Revitalize. Ah. Now, I think I'm going to go with a theme for the first Revitalize, just because it, it, it ups everybody's energy right at the start, and I feel like that's going to be a better start for Raiden at where I'm at right now. I'd actually be happy with one more Revitalize for Michael as well. Heavy Blow, that is not going to make me happy. Bulwark, that is going to make me happy. Bulwark, I believe... Mm, I don't want to go Lil Nick, because I want War God for Lil Nick. For Bulwark, I think we could probably go Sasquatch. I mean, I don't really like that on Sasquatch, but I mean... Wait, why haven't I leveled up my Skelly? That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know why I haven't leveled up Skelly. I'm going to be leveling him up soon, no doubt about that. All right, yeah, so we'll go ahead and go with... We'll go with, we'll go with Lil' Nick. Just in case we don't get the War God, at least we'll have extra damage, HP, everything else on Lil' Nick. Why not? That sounds like a smart move. I'm probably going to be changing that later. Like I said, when I, if you're pay-to-play, and this is a pay-to-play account... You can literally put talents on heroes and then change the talents like within a real quick amount of time if you're paying money in this game, right? If this In this day and age. Oh, that's a good talent and I don't have anywhere to put it. That's bad. Man, nowhere to put Unholy Pact. Fi All right, we're rolling a couple heroes, boys. Y'all ready for this? Here comes Dove Keeper. First Legends Dove. Oh, that would have been crazy. All right, I'm stopping right there just because I felt a legend coming from one roll. I don't want to keep going. All right, well, we didn't get Dove, but we got a Legend. We don't have anywhere to put this Unholy Pact. I I'm saving it. I'm saving this Unholy Pact. I have no reason to use it right now, unless we go Nicky Nick. Nah, that wouldn't be a smart move. Yeah, we're saving that Unholy Pact. We're waiting on Dove. That's an important talent, especially for an account like this. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Now, what do we have next to do on this? Oh, my gosh, all these friends requests. Sorry, boys, I, I have no room. <laughs> my friend request is 100% full, boys. So now that we've rolled talents, what else do I want to show you guys? Anything else? This might be a short video this time. Oh, we got some rewards to collect. We'll go ahead and collect all this. And, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else. I don't have any events. The four, Oh, yeah, we got the fountain. Oh, and we got talent refresh, which is, I mean, it's not really a big deal if you're freaking... If you're pay to play, this isn't that big of a deal, but it's still nice to see these. And that actually ends up being six total instead of three, which is very nice. Um, anything. JT, did you forget anything that you want to go over before you end the video? All right, well, I guess the video's done. I'll go ahead and tell you guys what my goals are for tonight while raiding. I did actually do 
quite a bit of dungeons too. I went ahead and got through Expert. I'm in Expert 2 right now, still just flowing through. This is the first time I've signed on this account today, so I mean, I'm a little bit behind on just all the dungeon tries. I haven't really swept. I'm not really worried about sweeping HBM or dungeons or any of that right now, just because I am pay to play, like I said. Now, if you're not a heavy pay to play like this account is, you're going to want to keep up with all that stuff. It's very important, no doubt. So, yeah, my goals for tonight are going to be to level up every single one of these vaults to level 6. To Actually, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do that. My goals tonight are just to spend the 4,500 gems that I have left on leveling up all these vaults. I mean, that's going to be my goal, right? So, I have, well, whatever the case may be. I can't even look. Okay, so, yeah. We're going to be spending, you know what I mean? It costs an insane amount of gems. 700 gems almost just for that one refresh to finish up on a building and then go to the next building. So these gems are going to get spent real quick. I mean, it's almost 700 gems for each one. My town hall did get leveled up again as well. It is level 12. So we do have some re... Oh, yeah, we're not building those resources. That's right. And as for defense, yeah, we'll go ahead and throw this stuff out here just because that, that notification button right there always makes me feel like I, ne I need to do more stuff than I really need to do. So, yeah, that is that. Nothing else, right, JT? Um, no. I love how I ask myself, like, nothing else, right, JT? Like, I mean, yeah, you're JT. Like, what are you saying? Like, people ask me that all the time. Like, why do you put JT in your titles when you're JT? I'm like, uh, I don't really know exactly. I just do it. I don't really, I don't know. What? I don't know, man. Stop asking me questions. Anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Tomorrow's going to be a crazy session on this account because we're coming in with a $20 bazaar most probably. Plus also, do we have, no, Hero Collector is not. What is today? I lose track of days. Of... Today's Thursday, so Hero Collector is going to be on Saturday. I'm looking forward. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and take a step in and probably roll at least like five or six thousand gems on the next hero collector because i really want a pumpkin duke it's gonna speed things up for me and me not having a pumpkin duke it's just like it's pathetic it's like i have all these beast heroes but i don't have the basic pumpkin duke i need pumpkin duke one time should i roll a forfeit nah i shouldn't roll anymore i should just stop that because i'm end up spending these gems and i need the gems to raid i can't buy any more packages tonight because i am out of here peace